Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to teach you a really cool trick called intuition. Okay, so here's a performance. Let's say a spectator can touch any card they want. And let's say they touch this card right here the five of hearts and all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna close the deck and keep it like this and there are no breaks whatsoever and five of hearts your card should still be lost in the middle of the deck somewhere okay now um, we're going to try something often um, have you ever heard about heard about what an intuition is basically um, it's like a feeling right so if I leave the deck right there in the middle of the deck and maybe cut like this, see what I just did there? I just had a feeling, some kind of intuition, and I think this is your card, and hopefully I just cut to your card. And that's the performance, guys. Stay, stick around for the tutorial. This is a really cool trick, and I love this trick because it's an impromptu trick. Um, if you want... You don't really have to force a card. They can choose any card you want, card they want, and if they want, or if you want, you can get them to sign it. And if you don't have any cards right now, right there with you, you can get a dip, a borrowed deck, a spectator's deck, and then still perform this trick. Now, um, as I said, there is no setup, so they can choose any card they want. And let's say they chose this card, for an example, the five of hearts. Um, in my performance, I control the card using the call force. I call the card to the very bottom, but if you want, and if you feel like you can't do that yet, you can do uh, what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you. So let's say you just stick the card in the middle of the deck, catch a break on that card, uh, perform double undercut, bring it to the top. Five of hearts should be at the top. From here, you're going to simply do push off pinky break on the top card like so and then do a double undercut which will bring the five of hearts to the very bottom okay so as long as you bring the five of hearts to the very bottom it's totally fine once you've done that um, you're going to distract them by talking to them quite a bit tell them what an intuition is tell them it's like a feeling that you just get and then while you're doing that you're going to either use your right hand or your left hand to bend the cards not a lot but you still have to bend quite a bit um so in my performance i use my right hand to just bend the cards simply like this or in this much okay so and then while they're not looking i simply held it in a mechanics grip cut the deck once now what you've done is that um, if you look at from the side See how there is a uh, break right there? And there is going to be a slight break on this edge as well. It's not that evident, but it's still enough for me to cut to the five of hearts, okay? Um, but it does require some practice. At the start, you might want to bend the cards quite a bit more, like maybe like this much. Just don't let them see it. And then, Cut the deck again and this time i'm pretty sure the break is more evident and on the other side as well and you can actually if you crouch down and go on the eye level with a deck of cards you can actually see the break and then from here or from this edge what whatever you want and then simply you're going to flip the cards over and you're going to notice that the cards are just going to catch all the cards are just going to it's just going to happen like, I don't know how to explain it. It's some kind of physics, but it just happens, okay? So, um, it does bend the cards a bit, but after one ripple shuffle, it should fix it. But um, after doing that trick, you can talk about what intuition is, tell them how you could do it. And if you want, you can do it once more, once more time because it's quite impressive. So, I know it's a quick tutorial, guys, but... It's a really impressive trick, so I hope you enjoy the trick. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.